and welcome back to another video everyone it's a little late at night so I'm gonna keep my voice a little quiet I apologize for that it's definitely been an adjustment in my new place my old place I was able to kind of talk however I'd like but besides that point this is what we're gonna be looking at I picked up this carry case from a farmers market that's in southern Ohio took a little bit of a trip down there and well walking through the rows and Talking with the people after I found something interesting, the guy was really cool and offered me this case for $10. And inside the case at the time, there was probably a little bit more than a dozen cars, maybe a little bit more than that. And as you see, it holds 48 cars. And uh, it looks like it's been custom drawn on and maybe a little circle job with a, with a Sharpie there. Hot Wheels logo has some, some drawing on it, but that's really not a big deal because what I'm interested in is what I have inside of here. But the case itself, we'll go ahead and pull it a little closer. Try to find a copyright, 1998. So a fairly old case in itself. Let's get this thing open, start looking at cars. Now in this case, I already see some stuff that was in here whenever I purchased it. So we'll go ahead and pull those out first. I'm going to go ahead and set them right in front of you here so you can see each one. These three cars I know were in this case whenever I picked it up. But I'm not sure if these are part of a playset or where they were from. But on the base it says 1989. So these might have been from the early 90s. Possibly 89 itself. I know the copyright usually doesn't go right along with whenever they were made. And yes, each one of them have the 89... Oh, this one actually has an 88 stamp on the bottom. So these three vehicles seem to be the same casting, featuring a plastic body. They feel plastic anyway. And maybe a metal base. I'm not too, too sure. They all have different rims. This one features gold tri-blade rims. This one has the snow blade rims. And this one has the five dot rims, five slots, whatever you'd like to call those. And you might be a little bit more knowledgeable than I am on those. I'm sure they were from a playset. But we'll put those in the background and we'll keep on going. So this next vehicle here, this one is a Matchbox Super Fast Pontiac see if we can find exactly when it was from. It says 79 on here. Made in Maku. I, I might have butchered the pronunciation on that. M-A-C-A-U. Yes, M-A-C-A-U. So, very, very cool looking car. Red interior, T-tops. Very heavy casting, all metal, it feels like. Love the Matchbox super fast cars. So there's that one. And this one right here, this is a flip out, if I remember correctly that these are called that. This one has a Hong Kong stamp on the bottom. It says 1988. And I think I got this one for like 50 cents out of a bin down there at the farmer's market. See, it's in very rough played with condition. But there's the flip out right there. So these might be called crack ups. I forget what they're actually called. Real heavy die cast, you can hear it flopping around. Hong Kong base. This this uh, whole case here is going to feature a lot of old things, Lesney cars, a lot of old Hot Wheels. Speaking of old Hot Wheels, here we have another one. 1984 Hong Kong stamp again. So, um, if my knowledge is correct, I believe that all the cars 1982 and before were made in Hong Kong. So. The stamp on the bottom might be a little bit different, but let's take a look at the car. The base itself is actually pretty scuffed up, but you can see Hong Kong, and it has a Buzz logo right there, livery, whatever you'd like to call that, and that turns around. So I'm sure the, these have a name for them, I'm just not 100% knowledgeable on my vintage Hot Wheels, although I do have some of them. Should probably do my research a little bit better. 
Try to move these back so I can keep them in the frame in case you are interested in specific ones I don't cover enough. What do we have next? And this one I believe was a 98 first edition. The 32 Ford. We've seen a couple different variations of this one. This one featuring that tri snow blade rims. Very cool. This next one we have another Matchbox. Matchbox Toys LT it says. It is a 62 Corvette from 1982. This one's on 158 scale. It's a little bit bigger. Blue Flame. It's a lovely looking car. I like this one a lot. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful car. Number 39. A little bit of damage on it. None of these are going to be in pristine shape. Some of them might be in pretty good shape. <clears throat> and ah, here we have one right here. Very nice looking one in completely just destroyed looking condition with a Hong Kong stamp on the front right here and this one is uh, the fire chief casting uh, taxi casting this one happens to be the police variation with the light very messed up smashed in it looks like and with how old this one is I have kept it in this case I'm sure I've had it in some of my monster truck shows and things like that. I believe that is the, uh, the Fire Chief casting. I'm not sure which one came out first, but pretty old one there. Hot Wheels 1969 Mattel Inc. patented. This one has a Canada, U.S. and Canada stamp right there on there. But it also says Hong Kong here, so I don't know if this happens to be any type of rare variation. Not too sure. Very played with, though, as you see. Very played with. Very cool. Love my variations. Ah, oh, and here we go. A Majorette car. On 158 scale, made in France. We have a Mazda RX-7. Very nice looking orange color with blue striping. It does feature opening doors and it has a blue interior. And I have some interesting cars from all over in this case. I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as possible. And here we have another super fast, if I'm correct. Maybe not a super fast, but this one is a matchbox on 185th scale again. 1982 Kenworth. A racing truck. Super boss says on the hood. Big old wing on the back. Don't think we'll be hauling any trailers with this one. Very cool. Let's see if uh see anything else on the bottom there. Let's see if you guys can read that at all. There you go. Seriously, if you have any knowledge on these really old pieces such as this one, I'd love to hear what you think. Especially this one. I wish I could get a little bit of a better view on that. US and Canada. But then it says Hong Kong right there. Not too sure. And uh, what else do we have in here? A couple mystery models. These are new. <laughs> that is not a mystery model car. That is an old Hot Wheel car. Maybe not too, too old, but I believe this one's the Bugatti. Which one is this? 1987 Malaysia base. Is this the Bugatti? I forget which one this is. Or the Doozy? Which one would this be? Some of you experts on the castings would definitely know that. But this one's in great shape. I don't even see any little flea bites at all on it. Quite proud of that piece right there. It's why I had it in the protective packaging when I went ahead and opened a mystery model. So, back in there it goes. And if I'm correct, yes I am. This is going to be another one, which this one definitely could use some type of wipe taken to it to try to get some of this coloration off of there. But this is the same casting, but in a lovely white color with white walls. 1987 Malaysia base. Just a beautiful looking car. Beautiful, beautiful.
Definitely gonna have to clean that one up. Set that back there. And here we have a lovely looking 1975 US and foreign. What does this say? Foreign? I can't really make that out. Foreign patent, patent Canada, 1973, also says Hong Kong. So, you can make that out if we can get it in frame. There we go. I am quite confused on what this means. Seems like it says Hot Wheels. 1975, U.S. and foreign is what that looks like it says. Patent, patent Canada, 1973, but Hong Kong right here. And, uh... This still features the plastic windscreen on the front, which I've learned from some videos. It comes off very easily and usually is not on vehicles. Tampos are a little, little worn, but if this is truly as old as it says in the bottom, I'm not surprised. The wheels are a little bent. Let me know. Any of you guys have knowledge on these old castings, I'd love to know. Because we're still getting into some more old ones here. This one is uh, Hot Wheels Mattel Inc. 1977 Hong Kong base yet again. And this one's quite similar to this casting, but not anywhere identical. I think this was actually a similar one, but just a little bit different. We have a uh, different light on top. There's the base if you're curious on that. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Kind of worn looking, hard to make it out. Vintage stuff here, vintage stuff. And here's another awesome junkyard piece that I had. Hot Wheels Mattel Inc. 1983 with a China base. This is a Mustang, the opening hood. Nice flames, very, very worn. Try to close the hood up. And here we have a 90s, I think this is uh, late 90s here, early 90s possibly, Hot Wheels 80s Corvette, awesome casting, I love the 80s Corvette a lot, and a cool looking green color, with a danger symbol on the side it looks like, sorry we're having trouble focusing here, Let's see if I can get that to to focus a little bit better for you guys because I want you to be able to see this as well as I am seeing it there we go starts automatically so this one seems to be in very good shape I see really no imperfections on it lovely looking sparkly paint job here is the base if you're curious about that Malaysia Awesome. Alright, let's zoom back out and keep this rolling. This is an old one. This is a Hot Wheels P928. And uh, Mattel Inc. Hong Kong base, 1982. Featuring the Hot One wheels and rims. Rims, excuse me. Love this car a lot. Anything with the Hot Ones looks good. It says turbo on the hood and you know some flea bites here and there but nothing too bad except for the front there you can see it's got some play wear try to set these up so you can see every one of them again so hmm I see some Lesney cars boy I know some of you might love to see these here we go this one is a Mercedes 450 SEL, made in England, 1979, Lesney Products. See, so we got a patent number on the bottom, as I bump the camera. Patent number right there, there you go, comes out nice and clean. I actually passed up a Lesney car that was a Peugeot with the opening rear hatch, kind of like a sliding piece. and. I could have picked it up for two dollars and I, I still really regret not doing that because I was not very knowledgeable and I was kind of attempting to conserve my money the day I was at the flea market down south, southern Ohio, but not going to lose sleep over it because I will come across it again 
or I'll just purchase it online if I really need it. So there's the Mercedes. And this next one is a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow Coupe. Made in England, 1969, Leslie Products. It says super fast on it. Matchbox series number 69. Here is the base. Should probably show it to you as I read it off. Might be getting a little frustrating for you. I apologize if so. There is the base. And here is that. Featuring an opening trunk. Very cool. Extremely cool. And what do we have here? Oh, I found this one at a Goodwill in a bin, digging through the outlet section. Extremely play worn, rusty axles. This one is a Matchbox Series number 68. Porsche 910, made in England, 1970. Lesney Products and Corp. Super fast. Let's see, let's show you the base. We can get it to focus on there. Having some troubles with that today. There we go. And here is the vehicle. Now I've seen a couple different versions of this. Not versions necessarily, but examples. Whenever I looked it up, in better condition as this, because I don't think it can really be much worse. I'm sure it could be worse always, but... Not sure what happened here. They could have just drug it across the floor or something. Not too sure, but if this is truly from 69, then it's a pretty, pretty aged vehicle. So let's keep it moving. We have Mercedes container truck made in England, 1978 Matchbox, Lesney product. Unfortunately, missing the container. You can see right there where it would have mounted up. But we still have the truck, the most important piece. Heavy, heavy die cast. Definitely want to look this one up and see what that container would have looked like. Kind of turn these a little bit better. All right, we have another Lesney here. This one is Number 23 Atlas made in England 1975 Lesney products Matchbox super fast Not sure if the number 23 Atlas is the name of the truck or what but There we go Try to zoom in on the base for you this time get you a little bit of a more clear image And this one is play worn and very heavy as every one of these vehicles by Lesney are that's about as far as the, the dump is going up. I really don't want to force it and break that piece because it looks very worn and rusty. A nice example of a dump truck. Very cool. You can hear it clanking around. That's a heavy, heavy die cast piece there. So I think we have some other old ones in here. Here's a Hot Wheels. We have... 81 Thunder Burner Hot Wheels 1983 Malaysia There is the base on that one Very cool with the black wall tires Play worn has some chips here and there very heavy Very cool also almost has the whole tampo on the front missing, but Hey, it is what it is Let's start to scoot back here so we can get a little bit of a better visual on all these cars. And what do we have here? A Corgi? Is this one a Corgi? Yes, it is. Corgi Juniors, Buick Regal, made in Great Britain. I'm sure this is supposed to resemble a taxi cab. Featuring a golden interior. That's very cool looking, shiny. Plastic base, metal body. I don't have very many Corgis. That might be the only Corgi car I have, to be honest with you. Um, what is this one? This one is a 2001 Mattel Inc. China 40-something. Just a cool looking 
fantasy casting. Maybe a Ferrari slash Corvette looking car. Not sure what that one would be. Some newer stuff in here, some older stuff. Speaking of older stuff, here's another old one. Hot Wheels 1974 Mattel Inc. Hong Kong US Patent Foreign Pat Pending. It's a nice, nice shiny base, almost like a mirror. Which I know is very hard to come across with these old, old castings. And this one would have been a tow truck. But it's unfortunately missing that towing apparatus on the back. Never know, possibly could find a donor truck to do a swap with, I'm not sure. But I think for sure that this came with a towing apparatus, if I remember this casting. Just set it over there. To scoot you back through the fire, you know, this is massing all of these cars. What do we have here? One giving us trouble coming out of a box. Come here, you. We have a very indecipherable base. Looks to say Mattel 1983, Malaysia, Hot Wheels. Has a little bit of a Sharpie mark on the bottom there. But I believe this is a Baja Beetle. Very rusty. Front tires are hardly spinning. Crazy looking pink interior and base, metal base. Plastic body, and here it kind of scrunching around. Very cool car. Had to pick that up, even though it's in pretty poor condition. And we have another Lesney car, made in England. Lesney Products, 1969 Matchbox Series number 20, Lamborghini Marzal. Part of super fast yet again. So this could very well be the oldest one that I have. Try to give you a good visual. Very grimy looking. Not very many chips. I mean on the side we have Playware which it appears to be. Some right here and on the back. But man that's a weird looking car. 1969 again. I'll have to do an overview after I get all these taken out categorize all of them by all my Lesneys I'll put together to show you again we have a little bit less than half to go here I'm sorry this is such a long video yet again thank you for sticking around if you're still here Hot Wheels Mattel Inc 1978 Malaysia I forget if this was the Auburn or which one this one was pretty play worn I can see that it's got a bent front axle Missing a front light. It's got some chipping. But not too terrible. The, the piece itself is still there. So still featuring the plastic windscreen. Now ah, here we go. Here's a cool one. And the protective casing. That I gave it. This one has a 1982 Malaysia base. Hot wheels. And just absolutely perfect shape. This is a Shelby Cobra. Featuring an opening hood, which I'm not going to open all the way, because I do not want to chip this. Kind of an army looking color and star. Well, I'm assuming it is an army looking color and star. I thought this was some chipping, but it's a star also. Great, great car. In perfect shape. Had to preserve that one the best I could. Set him aside. Another one that I wanted to keep in shape. Even with an emoji sticker. Check that out. And this one seems to be in perfect shape as well. Let's check it out. 2000 Malaysia base. The shoe box. I do have a few variations of this one, but none are in miraculous condition such as this one. Featuring the blue windows. Hot Wheel logo right here. Blue, uh back glass and windshield as well very very cool car I like that one a lot not too sure which vehicle in real life that's based off of but moving along this one very well might pique your curiosity this is the best Lesney car 
shape wise that I have. It says number four Pontiac Firebird made in England 1975 Lesney product. And check this beauty out. Minus some scuffing on the top. This is in very, very beautiful condition. A little bit of scuffing on the side of there as well. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, this might be a 7.5 or 8 because of the scuffing. But, wow. What a great looking car. Here's the base if you want to check that out. There we go. Amazing looking car. I love all these Lesneys. It's old, old Matchbox. It's crazy to me that, you know, they were made by another maker and then Mattel was able to pick them up. I forget what year it really was. The 90s or the late 80s or so. Something like that. I could be wrong. I apologize if so. Here we go. 1979 Matchbox Superfast Chevrolet Corvette. And this one made in Matku again. Has a lot of chipping going on, but very heavy die cast. A nice piece. Some wear on that tire there for sure. And as we're pushing the 27 minute mark, I really appreciate it if you're still here watching. I genuinely appreciate each and every one of my viewers, especially the diehards that stick around and watch everything. So, what is this next car that we have here? An AMC Javelin AMX 2008 stamp on the bottom I love this one I love the AMC cars not very many of them I think the Gremlin and the Javelin how many other cars did they make a few more I'm sure I just don't really know them by heart the AMC colors on there also very cool uh, and I know this one very well. This one is the Land Rover. Range Rover, I forget. We just went over that in my Hot Wheels carded video. Let me see if I can find that. I believe it's a Range Rover. Alright, after digging through the box behind you, behind you there, right over there, Range Rover, as it says right there. I believe this is the same casting, different color. Picked this one up at uh, Goodwill again, I believe. Had that one for quite some time now. Very cool. What do we have next? Two of these awesome looking vehicles here. Hot Wheels, 1982. And these actually have their guns on the side and this flip out piece on the back. Now, I'm kind of surprised because normally these would get, you know, chewed off and the things on the side would get pulled off by kids. But these were completely kept in almost pristine condition. This one has some play wear. But I forget what this casting is called, but very cool looking. Very heavy. There's two of those. And up next here we have, this one is the 37 Bugatti. So I believe that other one is the Doozy. Hong Kong based, 1980 Mattel. Let's check that out. Some scuffs on the top, some imperfections here or there, but it actually has both the headlights. Spare tire still on the back. Very cool. So that would be different than the other ones that we reviewed earlier that I referred to as the Bugatti. And here we have another cool one. This one has a stamped over Malaysia base, Hot Wheels 1977, so clearly after that Hong Kong era. Let's see the stamping over where it says Malaysia. You can see it's been stamped over. 308. This might have been the Ferrari 308, if I'm correct. Porsche, one of those old school supercars. Very, very cool. And we have a few more in the pack here. Kept preserved. We have another opening hood Mustang. Very, very nice. Let's check out the base. What does the base say? 
1983 Malaysia. There is the opening hood. Nice, lovely looking blue color. Black interior. The five spoke wheels and rims. Rims, excuse me. I love all of these opening hood cars. They're very unique. Especially for Hot Wheels. Unless they're like a premium casting or something. They're usually not like that. 1990 Mattel Inc. Malaysia on this one. It's got a golf livery on the front. 76. Says performance. Decal, I should say. Not necessarily a livery. I forget what the name of this casting is. I have a few different variations of it. And moving on, it looks like we have six cars left. There is another variation of the 32 Ford. I wish I could have had that at the same time I looked at the other one. You can see we have a rim variation here. Very cool. I think I have about four of these. That these actually, these were the cars that came in this case when I bought it. it was four of these 32 Fords and uh, the other ones I, I showed you at the beginning. Very cool. These were kept in great condition. And we have a rim variation, so very cool. And we have another Lesney. Some gems mixed in here. And this one says Tanzara, number 63, made in England, 1972 Lesney products. And there's a patent number and everything on this one also. Let's see if we can get the base. Get the focus, there we go. I want to kind of show you this one. All these old school ones, I want to be able to show you. There we go. There is the patent right there. And here is the casting. I'm not too sure what this is based off of. But it's a very wacky looking thing with a rear engine design. There may have been a hatch that goes over it, but I'm not too sure. After looking at it, doesn't really seem to have any kind of mount for a hatch that would have been ripped off. So this might exactly be how it came. And look at this. Windshield isn't even cracked or scuffed. Very, very impressive. And these next two that we're going to look at. Another matchbox. Two more matchboxes, excuse me. 1984 Corvette 156 scale. Vet on the hood, nice scarlet and gray color combination. The black on the hood, very cool. And this other one that we have here, another Corvette, another super fast. This one says 1979. I like this one a lot. I like the flames, and not even flames.